Today we're gonna to use what you guys know about complementary and supplementary angles. And let's just quickly review what that is. Complementary angles are 90 degrees. The two add up to 90 degrees. Supplementary are 180 degrees. And we can remember that by supplementary equals straight lines. And complementary is 90 degrees or corners. So if we take a look at page four today, the language here says in a complete sentence, but I really want you guys to think about math sentences, and math sentences are equations. So we're going to describe the relevant angle relationship in the diagram. And when I look at this diagram here, there's a couple things that I can notice here. See this mark? This little almost like a square means that we have a 90 degree angle that's going from here to here. So if I know that that mark is there and then x degrees, what can we change the x to? 90. This would be 90 degrees. But then there's this other part of the angle here. This one also then would make it 90 degrees. So if I have 22 degrees and I want to know what this part is, I can write an equation showing 90 degrees is equal to, let's call this y, since this one was x, y plus 22 degrees. We know that this is a right angle just like this is, and right angles always equal 90 degrees, so we can find this out by saying this plus this would equal 90. And right now, it's covered, but you guys know what it says up there. If I see addition, what do I do? Subtract. So we're going to subtract the 22 from both sides. And 90 minus 22. 16. Mm -hmm. Let's just double check, though. 90 minus 22, we get 68 degrees. So then we can come back and say our y degrees is equal to 68 degrees. So this section is 68 degrees. There's a second way I could have written this because this angle here is straight, meaning supplementary. Supplementary equals 180 degrees. And I could have said, well, I know that this is 90 and we don't know what y is, although we do now, right? And we know that this is 22. I could have added these two together and subtracted them from the 180 because this supplementary angle would equal this plus this plus this, and we'd still get our 68. Two ways to find the same thing, yes? So let's look at number two. Two lines that meet at a point that is also the vertex of an angle set up and solve an appropriate equation for x and y. What do you see here? That's a 90 degree angle. X is over here. It is what? 90. Yeah, so we know, we don't even have to set up an equation. X is equal to 90 degrees. But what about Y? How could we set up an equation to find Y? Well, if we know that this is 90 degrees, and it's put together by this angle that's what? 60. And this, we can do 90 equals y plus 16 and solve it in a similar way. Minus 16, minus 16, and what do we get? 74 degrees is equal to angle y or y degrees. I'll have to check. All right, I want you guys to take a look because now I'm going to let you go do some practice. When I look at this angle, first thing I see is this, but really what I want to focus on is this because how many degrees is that? 180. 180. What do we know about this part of it? 180. And then can we use 180 equals 90 plus 55 plus x? Do you guys see how to work on these now? Okay, so I'm going to let you go back to your desks and work on pages five and six. 
very similar types of problems. Use what you know about 90 or 180 and you're finding missing degrees. 